Have you ever paused to consider the profound power of language in shaping our reality? How often do we stop to reflect on the distinction between the words we use and the world they attempt to describe? Welcome, my friends, to a journey into the depths of Alfred Korzybski's general semantics, where we explore the intricate dance between language, perception, and the reality that surrounds us. Together, let's unravel the layers of meaning behind the assertion that the map is not the territory, delving into a world where words are both windows and walls to our understanding of the universe. Alfred Korzybski, a figure whose intellect traversed the realms of engineering, mathematics, and philosophy, introduced the world to general semantics in his groundbreaking work, Science and Sanity. With a vision that sought to mend the fractures in human understanding and communication, Korzybski embarked on a quest to redefine the relationship between language and reality. He posited, a map is not the territory it represents, but if correct, it has a similar structure to the territory, which accounts for its usefulness. This principle challenges us to scrutinize the symbols and languages we navigate daily, reminding us of their inherent limitations in capturing the essence of the world they seek to represent. At the core of general semantics lies the metaphor of the map is not the territory a profound observation that encapsulates the essence of Korzybski's theory. This metaphor serves as a reminder that our perceptions, beliefs, and the language we use are merely representations of reality, not reality itself. Just as a map abstracts and simplifies the terrain it depicts, our words abstract and condense the complexities of our experiences into communicable forms. This abstraction process is both necessary for understanding and communication and a source of potential misunderstanding and distortion. Korzybski's foundational principles of general semantics are designed to elevate our awareness of these abstractions and their impact on our interactions with the world. He urges us to adopt a consciousness of abstracting, to recognize that whatever we say something is, it is not. This principle encourages a humility in our assertions, a recognition that our descriptions of the world are but shadows of its full complexity. By embracing this consciousness, we open ourselves to a more nuanced engagement with reality, one that acknowledges the limitations and potential of our linguistic maps. Emerging in an era of burgeoning scientific discovery and existential uncertainty, Korzybski's theories reflected a deep engagement with the intellectual currents of his time. His work intersected with emerging fields such as linguistics, psychology, and anthropology, offering a new lens through which to understand the dynamics of human knowledge and communication. Korzybski's insights into the structure of language and its influence on human behavior emerged as a beacon of clarity in an increasingly complex world, inviting us to question the foundations of our understanding and the potential for miscommunication inherent in language. The principle of non-identity, a cornerstone of general semantics, challenges us to acknowledge the impermanence and uniqueness of every entity and moment. Korzybski famously stated, the map is not the territory, highlighting the distinction between our mental and linguistic models of the world and the world itself. This awareness of non-identity invites us to approach our interactions with the world with a sense of curiosity and openness, recognizing that our perceptions are continually shaped and reshaped by the evolving landscape of reality. Korzybski's concept of time-binding, the human capacity to build upon the knowledge and achievements of previous generations through language and symbols, highlights the unique role of language in human evolution. He observed, We are the only animals that can abstract time-binding values from one generation and transmit them to another. 
This remarkable ability allows us to transcend the limitations of our individual lifespans, weaving a tapestry of knowledge and culture that spans generations. Timebinding underscores the profound responsibility we bear in the stewardship of this accumulated wisdom, challenging us to use our linguistic capabilities to foster understanding and progress. The practical implications of general semantics extend far beyond the realm of theoretical discourse, offering tangible benefits in enhancing communi communication, critical thinking, and problem solving. By cultivating an awareness of the abstraction process and the limitations of our linguistic constructs, we can navigate the complexities of human relationships and societal challenges with greater empathy and effectiveness. Korzybski's work offers a toolkit for dissecting and reconstructing our linguistic maps, enabling us to chart a course through the turbulent waters of miscommunication and misunderstanding. Throughout history, general semantics has found application in a variety of contexts, from education and therapy to business and diplomacy. These real-life examples serve as testaments to the transformative power of language awareness, illustrating how a deeper understanding of the principles of general semantics can bridge divides, resolve conflicts, and foster more meaningful connections. By learning to navigate the nuances of language with greater precision and care, we can unlock new pathways to understanding and cooperation. Despite its contributions, general semantics has faced its share of criticism and skepticism. Critics argue that Korzybski's theories, while insightful, may oversimplify the complexities of language and cognition or present challenges in practical application. Yet these critiques only add depth to the ongoing conversation about the role of language in shaping human experience, highlighting the dynamic interplay between linguistic structures and the realities they seek to capture. Adopting a general semantics perspective can catalyze profound personal growth and self-awareness. As we become more conscious of the language we use and the assumptions embedded within it, we unlock the potential for profound shifts in our patterns of thought and perception. This journey towards linguistic and cognitive flexibility is both challenging and rewarding, offering a richer, more textured understanding of the world and our place within it. As we conclude our exploration, let us ponder the profound implications of Korzybski's assertion that the map is not the territory. How might our lives change if we approached our linguistic maps with greater awareness and humility? In what ways can we refine our language to better capture the nuances of the ever-evolving landscape of reality? These questions invite us to engage in a continuous process of reflection and refinement, challenging us to reimagine the possibilities of communication and understanding. The enduring relevance of Alfred Korzybski's general semantics in today's world cannot be overstated. In an era marked by rapid change and increasing complexity, the ability to navigate the intricate relationship between language and reality is more crucial than ever. Korzybski's legacy challenges us to transcend the limitations of our linguistic maps, to explore the vast territories of human knowledge and experience with curiosity, humility, and an open heart. Thank you, my friends, for accompanying me on this journey through the intricate world of general semantics. I hope that our exploration has illuminated the profound impact of language on our perception of reality and inspired you to reflect on the ways in which your linguistic maps shape your journey through the world. Until we meet again, may your maps be rich and varied, and may you always remember that they are not the territory. Farewell and thank you for your time and attention.